I, I really... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so even after 20 years, uh, I lined up with some bunch of keys and I'm, I'm, I'm still fighting with finding the, the actual key or the key which can actually uh, open um, the case which is in front of me. And I think this is the experience why uh, we all, if we are, we, if we all are honest, I think this is the experience of most of us that we cannot crack each and every case. And we typically with the homeopathy, when we are talking about constitutional remedy, understanding the person, uh, it can be through sensation method, it can be through any method for that matter. It can be through uh, the, the newer methods, uh, like uh, in, any, any method or the typical classical constitution way. It becomes difficult at times to uh, understand a person because it's difficult to understand person in one meeting. Most of the times we don't know ourselves as well. So why, how can we understand the person sitting in front of us? So the, what, what can be helpful for us till we find that constitutional remedy is uh, bachelor remedies. And so I have always used bachelor remedies as uh, one of the best uh, tools that I can use to crack the person, to, to open the case, uh, to, uh, to give the initial relief that the, person, the, the patient seeks uh, so that he will remain with you and you can, uh, do, you can do your refined uh, tuning of the constitutional remedies. So this is the primary use that I had uh, about bachelor remedies. I have been doing uh, about bachelor remedies. Uh, so I usually ask about uh, uh, any experiences so far, but that's what I said. Okay, there will be people, uh, I, we won't ask each and every person, but there will be people who will be, uh, who might have used the remedies, might have used one or two remedies, maybe only rescue remedy, uh, may have used crab apple for every screen case, but that might have not been uh, very successful. Or there will be people who don't know anything and they just want to uh, understand uh, what flower remedies is. So this is the session for everybody. So before that, let's discuss something about Dr. Edward Batch. Dr. Edward Batch uh, was a pathologist and a keen observer. Uh, he was working with uh, London Homeopathic Hospital and uh, as a pathologist. And uh, because he was a keen observer, what he found was uh, the bacterial flora, the bacterial uh, flora of the bowels uh, when he did uh, stool culture and all those things. Uh, was coinciding with certain personalities. So certain bacteria, when they were found in abundance in a particular patient's bowels, the person used to be either anxious or irritable or perfectionist or that kind of thing. So he thought that possibly these are the gut bacteria which actually uh, rule our emotions, they rule our personality. What he discovered in early 90s is now coming true. We have something in the medical field now is microbiome. So we will be in the modern medicine is coming with microbiome, which is primarily using the gut bacteria to treat various diseases. So in future, maybe uh, the patients will have microbiome related capsules to, to ingest uh, as a regular uh, therapy. But Dr. Batch was the first person to uh, understand this, this correlation. Uh, so being a pathologist, being a person from the modern medicine, he tried to uh, found, uh, find some, he tried to create vaccines out of it. But again, vaccines were uh, injections and all those things. But because he was working with London Homeopathic uh, Hospital, he, he thought that why not to create uh, homeopathic medicines out of those bacteria. So he created homeopathic medicines, which we now call, or we, which we now know as bowel nozules. If you have read Bobby's Nozodes towards the end of uh, Kane's, uh, uh, Alan's keynotes, uh, that's, that's Dr. Bat's contribution to homeopathy. Bobby's Nozodes are uh, connected with the personality and uh, that kind of thing. But again, it was the medicine came from uh, bacteria. So it was a nozode. But he always wanted to have something uh, which is natural. Obviously, bacteria are also natural, but something more natural, more refined, more simple, more safe. And he actually wanted to have a method which can be, uh, which can be exercised, which can be used by anybody for that matter. So any, every household, there can, be, there can be one person who can use a remedy or a, a, a therapy or a style, uh, which is easy to use for anybody. You should not be a medical doctor. That was the primary intention of him that 
you should not be a doctor to heal somebody because he believed that every each and every person has a healer within and he wanted to stimulate he wanted to give some scope to that healer but as usual uh, we are uh, this is sunday and we always think about lot many things to do but usually we keep it aside on sunday because we have something other things we either have a picture on on netflix that we want to watch and so we usually keep the things aside so he kept he just thought about it but kept it aside but in 1928 he was diagnosed with cancer and when you know that just there are just, just few days or few months uh, are left you then think about what was your mission what was your uh, inner thought what was your inner will and so in 1928 he started uh, working on this he said he thought that let's what jo bhi din bache hai usme let's uh, let's discover something which is simple easy and natural and more refined and easy for any everybody to practice so he started working on flowers because he felt that flowers are the most natural leaf refined and the most delicate things uh, that come from the nature and he started working on flowers uh, we will discuss about how he worked on flowers and he discovered bachelor therapy in 1936 1936 he introduced the therapy to the world and that was the primary miracle the first miracle i would say because he was told that he is he is left with only few months to live maybe four or six months but he from 1928 he survived till 1936 because he was uh, passionately working on something that he wanted to do so that's the uh, that's the that's the healing power of uh, the passion what are the advantages of uh, working with batch flower remedies they are natural simple as uh, dr batch wanted uh, you don't really need any formal knowledge of uh, medicine uh, you just need to know understand the remedies you need to understand the person in front of you uh, i have been teaching batch flower remedies uh, for last many many years now and i have been teaching pe- these things to lay people as well and i have always found that lay people even with homeopathy lay people who just uh, go on reading a lot and people person who has a very good uh, observational skills can really excel very well in 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 these uh, in these therapies so bachelor rem- therapy can be used by anybody uh, it uses it can be used for subtle disturbances at emotional levels uh, somewhere some uh, to, to the level that's uh, when we can't even give homeopathy because there are no clear symptoms but you just have some uh, funny feelings and funny sensations even then you can use batch flower remedies in a very nice manner there are no side effects at all it can be used with any other therapy or any other medicines along with uh, some whatever allopathic medication which is going on or your constitutional medicine so constitutional and batch flower combination makes a really good team i have seen that uh, batch flower remedies they make a person more and more receptive they make the system open uh, for the the for the surrounding to receive and more the person become more receptive more open more receiving uh, that makes a that makes it a that takes him to the level that uh, the the dosage of allopathic medicine that they it usually reduces so uh, that's the that's the fun part of it the person becomes more receptive the person becomes more open uh, more rational more sensible because obviously you are working on unresolved negative emotions and once they go away you become a human more human being the best part is they are available worldwide officially so there are uh, certain online pharmacies in us uk australia so your patient can be anywhere and you still can prescribe him uh, remedies without sending them from here by charge me by spending a lot of money on courier and all those fda and all those uh, jargons there are 38 remedies totally and rescue remedy we usually know rescue remedy uh, best part is there is no posology there is no potency dosage dilemma like homeopathy ki kitna potency dene wala hai kitni bar dene wala hai where there be any medicine aggravation there won't be any medicine aggravations another best part for me was you can use them in combinations combinations up to 7 so you can mix seven remedies together and you can give and that's official so there is no guilt of uh, polypharmacy there is no guilt of, of medicinal aggravation there is no uh, there is no problem of thinking about what which potency to give uh, what repetitions to give so it's very simple 
so it's as simple as it can it can be the, the best or the simplest ma manner but when i'm when i'm saying all these things i should I, as a homeopath i should also say something about homeopathy as well something good about homeopathy or something better for the homeopathy uh, what i've seen is uh, in pathological cases or uh, uh, cases homeopathy does work deeper so just one dose of homeopathic medicine and it can really do uh, wonders uh the same can be possible with flower remedies but homeopathy is if you really find the simulimum it really uh, hits the bull's eye that can be possible even with bachelor remedies but homeopathy is has a completely different way of healing so usually we know flower remedies uh we i also knew flower remedies i remember i had right since i was in second year i had bought uh these books about bachelor remedies but i just read them and i kept them aside i thought that uh, this is i i'm not getting uh, this kind of i don't know what what these remedies are because i was trying to compare them with homeopathy which is the biggest mistake i would say i was trying to compare each remedy with some homeopathic remedy and without understanding the actual gist of that remedy i was trying to compare that with uh, some homeopathic personality so there always comes a moment of uh, believing we know many things but the moment we believe in certain thing then that's the moment of uh, realization that's the moment of uh, actualization of your uh, of your knowledge and that that moment came because of one of my senior friend and colleague dr jayesh vaishampayan who uh, practices in vile parle uh, he was two years senior to me and in a in a wedding that was typically uh, the initial days of our practice when somebody used to get the uh, married one of few of our friends so so in, in a marriage i i met him and he asked me do you practice flower, flower remedies and i said no because i don't understand them and he said but use them they are very good so i had a case of uh, a a patient with clinical depression and he was very dependent on me i was frustrated with that patient because he used to call me every other day every day that he used to call me asking funny questions sir mai uh can i can i go for a morning walk i used to say yes the next day he used to call sir but can i wear chappals or shoes like is it okay to wear only chappals or should i be wearing shoes i said no nee, you can wear shoes or you can wear chappals then he used to say keep now i am doing morning walk can i just increase my daily uh, breakfast ka quantity so he used to call me to ask all these basic questions and he really he wanted answers uh, of these questions to me, from me and i was frustrated because he was calling me every day and he used to come all the way from konwa which is i think 6 7 kilometers away every week because he wanted to meet me to ask so many questions uh, get some answers of all his queries from me and i was frustrated every uh, every time he used to come he used to sit for half an hour asking me funny questions and i told him that i have this question can do you have any remedy for him so he said give him cerato and cerato was the first bottle that i bought from uh, the local homeopathy pharmacy and i gave that uh, cerato to uh, my patient patient that patient of mine and to my surprise within one month his questions they reduced drastically now the case is like he comes once in four months and he hardly has now because of whatsapp he is in touch but he hardly asks me any questions now he knows uh, that he can answer his own questions and that was the moment of belief i knew that these there are these remedies i knew that people are working these using these remedies for their patients but this was the the moment of belief that now i started believing in these remedies because they had made a wonderful effect they had given a wonderful effect in one of my patients the next then i started reading about them and the next case was of a cherry plum i had a lady who uh, actually was a mother of one of my patients of epilepsy and uh, the 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 husband said that she is so irritable and so violent that we took her to a psychiatrist she fights physically on the road in traffic if somebody uh, doesn't up, uh, obey the traffic rules uh, she can be violent verbally she can be violent physically and she has hit her child or her daughter uh, with a rod uh, and like we are worried about her and we actually are thinking about keeping her away from uh, the children and people and like we we are worried now we went to psychiatrist but that didn't help because she used she used to be under sedation so we don't want that i just knew few remedies like most of us we knew first of the time uh, for the first we usually know a few remedies 
so i just knew few remedies and cherry plum was one of them so i just gave cherry plum and i think holly to her holly is for uh, hatred cherry plum is uh, to control the anger so i gave her cherry plum and holly and to my surprise again uh, that was the first prescription on my from 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 my own thinking and within few months her her aggression her violence her anger that reduced drastically i didn't expect this kind of effect in uh, this kind of violent lady and she really became calm and quiet i have been following her uh, she has been sending patients for last 10 20, 12 or 15 years now uh, she hasn't needed any remedy then after after the initial 6 7 months of treatment she hasn't needed any remedy for any any anger issues from then so that's the effect that we can give we can we can have with bachelor remedies a long standing effect where she didn't need any remedy then after so that was uh, the moment of belief when you actually give the remedy it works wonderfully and then you start believing in the remedies so we will we will we will discuss few remedies today so that you can you can use them with your patients and then uh, experience about your own self uh, i am a singer and i do uh, some programs and i always used to get a lot of anxiety before before the show so i took argentum nitricum i took gelsemium i took silica i took everything lycopodium i also took mimulus which is for fear i also took large which is for confidence these are the flower remedies uh, but it didn't help i used to be as anxious as i i used to be so uh, i was equally anxious for every show and then i realized that what am i anxious about i i just started thinking about ki uh, is my remedy going wrong so why why it is going wrong because possibly i am using it incorrectly and then i realized that possibly i am anxious about not because i can go wrong because uh, that's not a problem with me i usually go wrong but that's okay i am okay with that my problem or my anxiety was primarily about because there are people who know me who come there there are people in the audiences though we don't do paid programs but still they come there for those 2 hours so it's my responsibility as a performer to give something for those 2 hours that they are going to spend for me that was the that was the anxiety about the responsibility that i have and then i realized that it's not large it's not mimulus it's elm elm is the remedy for responsibility or it is the remedy for overwhelming uh, sense of responsibility when the responsibility uh, can act as a burden uh, just like aurum uh, so it's a it's a unusual uh, sudden responsibility that you uh, that can crack you that want, that makes you anxious i started taking elm and my anxiety went off now i do programs i do all kinds of mistakes on the stage i do sing different tunes and different words for sing but i'm okay i don't feel anxious i don't feel uh any anxiety uh that was again uh, the the moment of believing so let's let's understand few remedies uh so that uh, you can use them uh, for your patients so that the, that that moment of belief will come in your practice as well and possibly that's the biggest motivation that's the biggest inspiration and that's the biggest push that one can have when you give a remedy it works like wonder in your patient then you will read them like uh like anything that you have never read them these remedies like like the, like that before cherry plum as i use for the patient of uh, violence and anger cherry plum is the remedy for control control is the key word for cherry plum whenever you have a patient who has a problem with control they can't control their tears they can't control their anger they can't control their words they say foul words they say something which they cannot control when they cannot control their 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 cravings when they can't control their sleep when they can't control it's when they can't control anything or say give them cherry plum so cherry plum is the best remedy to give for people who are seeking weight loss when they can't control their cravings for chocolates cherry plum can work wonders for people who have who anybody who has a issue with control so control is the keyword for cheriplum i usually uh, practice with these keywords so that's my style that i have developed so whenever somebody has anything which which, which anything that has to do with control either you want to increase the control you want to gain control or you have a fear that you will lose control like for example 
uh, you are going to a meeting where you know that there will be some heated discussions and you fear that you might uh, in that spurt of anger uh, that, that emotional outburst you might say certain things to other people which you might repent later on take cherry plum cherry plum will keep you controlled will remind you that you are not supposed to uh, say anything which can which you need to repent later on and that happens i have seen all these things i i have been sharing everything that i have seen working either with me or with my patients so these these are all uh, shabri ke bear uh, so i have i have tested them and i am i'm i'm sharing them with you so cherry plum is the remedy for control so whenever you have any anything any patient who has a problem with control think about cherry plum the other way of using the remedies the primary ways of using the remedies is with positive and negative qualities every remedy has a positive quality that the remedy will increase when it is given to the patient and every rem remedy has a negative quality which the remedy will reduce in that patient uh, whenever we give that remedy to that patient what is positive and negative quality like for example mimulus has a fear of specific things so that's a negative quality so whenever you have a fear of a specific thing like fear of spiders fear of dogs uh, fear of maths then when you give mimulus this fear of maths will reduce because that's a negative quality so that will reduce courage is the positive quality that mimulus has so when you give mimulus the courage of the patient increases so whenever you want to work with batch for remedies always uh, try to remember the positive and negative qualities of each remedy and you can practice by asking one question about uh, for any patient what i want to give to this patient or what i want to reduce in this patient and whatever answers that you get they those answers will lead you to that particular remedy like for example we will we'll learn this remedy chicory chicory uh, is one of the very not very commonly used remedies earlier but now that's that's the new thing that i have been developing now i have been using chicory in last two and a half years now uh, with a completely different perspective earlier chicory was known for being selfish being manipulative being diplomatic uh, being self centered and being having a self pity where the person feels that he has done everything for uh, the family but they are not giving anything in return so typical selfish kind of personality we are given chicory and we we did find those people but that chicory was only limited the use of chicory was only limited with uh, working with these people the positive quality of chicory is going beyond self because you have a negative quality of being self centered uh, uh, self obsessed uh, selfish so that's a negative quality when you give chicory the person becomes uh, more aware about other people their needs uh, their feelings so you come out of yourself and you try to see the people around this is the positive quality now in last two or three years i have been using chicory a lot with people who are not selfish who are not self centered who are not obviously uh, diplomatic or political or, uh, se or or selfish i have been using chicory only with this positive quality of looking beyond self looking at other people's uh, needs their problems and being aware of the environment around and try to observe uh, the environment around this is the positive quality that chicory can uh, chicory can give now how do i use this i use this for every patient where the patient only describes their own sufferings and you want to tell them boss you your problems are not uh, bigger problems try to see around Uh, there are people who come with some uh, they say okay I, i i got covid and then uh, you know uh, i was given remedies and uske baad wo acidity hua remedies ki wajah se i was given those tabi flu or whatever and those were so many remedies and so many uh, doses i got ye kya mere sath hua hai and you so ki boss zinda ho ye kya kam hai aapke liye so try to see beyond yourself try to see around that people have died people have spent lakhs of rupees on their treatment uh, when they were admitted in hospitals try to see them try compare yourself with those people and then you will realize that you are lucky fellow actually this is something that chikari can give so this is going beyond self so when the patient is uh, though he is suffering with 
maybe rheumatism he is suffering with uh, some chronic ailment and it's really troublesome but when they just go on talking about the ailment the complaints the pathology the pains and uh, all those kinds of symptoms and they don't see anything which is happening around them aapka pote ko abhi 10th standard mein 90% marks mile at least at least think about that that grandchild of yours you you have a very good garden in front of you think about that garden think about uh, a sunny day uh, that you were having but no no they will only focus on their problems so chikari works for all these people who will they are not selfish but they only will focus on their problems their sufferings and they you want them to come out of themselves and come out and see other people uh, look at the things which are happening good around them uh, chikari is the remedy that you can give and you will see uh, a major difference i have a uh, i have a combination crab in my clinic uh, the i don't know if any of my assistants are uh, or the the observers who come to my clinic they are attending this uh, but that's the combination i usually use when uh, there's a combination of people who will never say there's a there are two or three remedies in that uh, that's the combination for people who never will say that they are better with your remedy you know that you have given best remedy homeopathic or otherwise and there are always people who will say me 2% ठीक है 1% ठीक है i don't know how they and how they come with this 1% and 2% when you know that they are 10% 20% better because they look better they walk but uh, much comfortably but they will not agree they will not be they will not see uh, uh, that that the relief they will not they will not uh, agree they will not uh, say that they are they are better uh, there are people who will never say any uh, they will never admit any amelioration i give that that combination to those people for one or two weeks and i usually find 90% of the time that next time they come with some amelioration to report it's funny but really we are, this is this is typically how the the mind that blocks us uh, to even see uh, the amelioration which is happening or the healing which is happening with you so there are remedies which can help the patient to see uh, the relief that they are getting when they can't uh, see that relief themselves so how did dr bash found out which flower to be used for uh, for which personality because there is no drug proving like homeopathy so it's obviously the observation skills about the flowers and something about the doctrine of signature that you can use uh, about the flowers and the corresponding emotion there are two flowers as a, as an example uh, if you see the the left hand flower the, the white one uh, if Uh, i usually ask what what you see but now we don't have we don't have that much of time so if you see that uh, that flower or that plant uh, the plant or the 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 leaves they are below and the flowers the white flowers they are super white flowers which are uh, you completely above the rest of the plant and they are on the top they are like we are different from the rest of the uh the rest of the plant typical platina kind of thing uh, but don't correlate platina with this remedy but they just the way platina feels that it is uh, it's, it doesn't belong to the family the baki ke log sab ekdam sab normal hai sab average hai i am above average i am superior so this this is the feeling that these flowers give that they are they are they are white they are super white they are above uh, the rest of the plant sitting on the ivory tower and this is white chestnut uh, sorry this is water violet i'm so sorry these are the mistakes that i usually do and i'm not uh, because of elm i'm not worried about them now so this is water violet water violet is the remedy uh, which is uh, for people who feel different than the other people they feel superiority they feel uh, they feel uh, they are they are they are aloof they are uh, they want to mix with the society but they can't because they can't uh break the ice if even if they go to a social meeting they usually sit quiet because they don't know how to talk with people <coughs> so water violet is the remedy from from that plant if you give water violet uh it usually helps the people to connect with the society uh they it helps them to be more social be more mixing with uh, the people around uh in a better manner i use water violet for my cases with autism because autistic people uh, it's not superiority don't think about superiority alone uh, autistic children are typically they have in their own uh, world 
they are not connected with the surrounding and whenever you give water violet usually what i have seen is uh, the eye to eye contact the response to the uh, if you call the child the the response that you get uh, from the child that increases a lot so whenever you have problems with eye to eye contact not responding to your calls uh, not being aware about what is happening around uh, in these kids if you give uh, in these autistic kids if you give what uh, water violet uh it 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 works wonders uh it it really starts they they really start uh, giving more more eye to eye contact and all those things the other uh, flower the red one is honeysuckle if you observe the petals the petals are going backwards so it, they are not like the usual petals but they are going backwards and these are the people who are more and more uh tied up they are more and more engrossed engaged with the past they will never talk about present they will never talk about future they will always talk about past they like to be in past they feel the past was best uh, they always help will have some of the other ties with the past which are making it problematic for them uh, so honeysuckle is the remedy where if you have anybody or even if you are tormented with any memory from the past which is hampering your current present productivity some memory from the past that you can't forget it 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 comes uh kya bolte hai wo bar bar wahi memory aa raha hai wahi wo sab incidents se yaad aa raha hai and which are making you disturbed which are making you uh feel less productive uh, you can use honeysuckle there will be relationships where something has happened in the past uh you want to reconcile you want to start a fresh uh, but you can't because those memories you can't wipe out honeysuckle can help you to wipe out to reduce the influence of those remedies uh, and start a fresh uh, being a music lover being a lover of hindi film music i always think about some hindi song for every remedy uh, so for the song for honeysuckle it chalo ek baar fir se ajnabi ban jaye hum dono that's that's the song for honeysuckle so typically it happens with couples that uh, there are so many things which have which we have said unsaid and we have done uh, some random mistakes in our relationships by saying certain things which we shouldn't have said and there are hurts there are insults there are there are wounds if you want to heal those wounds and start a fresh honeysuckle can be the best remedy uh, to work so do use those remedies for people around whom you feel should be uh, forgetting about or should be resolving their past we they, you can't forget them but at least you can resolve those memories so that they will not influence your present uh with some any uh, unwanted negative emotions can it be used for physical ailments yes it can be used in fact dr kramer uh, is one of the very uh, uh leading bachelor practitioner name now uh, currently who has even uh, worked with body maps i haven't used them much uh, but uh, i do use uh, flower remedies for physical ailments we have seen cherry plum cherry plum was for control so think about cherry plum when you get any elderly lady which who comes for the for a stress incontinence or for a uh, uh, for stress incontinence when whenever she coughs she sneezes she usually passes a few drops of urine uh, you can give remedies like causticum and some other remedies from flower remedy from homeopathy but try using cherry plum giving it four times a day and you will find fantastic results with cherry plum because what she says is i don't i have lost my control over my bladder i have lost my control over the sphincter and so whenever i cough i sneeze uh, some some drops of urine they pass so physical elements can be treated if if you have uh, you can use those those keywords of all the remedies uh, in that physical element if the person if the patient describes that physical element with a particular emotion like for example mimulus is for fear now you have a patient uh, who we we used mimulus uh, a lot during last one and a half years because people were worried specifically about covid so they had all uh, uh, sardi khansi they had anything they had headache they used to come asking is this covid so there was a specific fear of covid uh, when you can't give anything give mimulus at least that fear will go and they will feel better so you can use it in uh, physical ailments but that uh, again the the selection of medicine has to be based on uh, the emotions that the, the patient is talking about the patient, the emotion is showing through their behavior or they are talking about certain emotion or certain feeling state about that particular physical ailment either it can be a, 
a fear it can be a anger that how i can get all these things when i am doing all these things that can be below uh, that can you can have a, a certain behavioral uh, part like for example somebody gets a diabetes and they suddenly become very disciplined super disciplined so that that we have another remedy for that we'll see that remedy uh, in in a few few slides you obviously can use these remedies for plants and animals i have a dog myself uh, i i have i had cats and i have been i have more than 20 25 regular dog patients who uh, who take my medicines for uh, who take flower remedies for uh, hyper aggression uh, separation anxiety uh, or fears uh, i you i i have been giving uh, using these remedies uh, in diwali for fear of crackers for last more than 12 years now i i distribute that free uh, around my uh, clinic and uh, they they have really given wonderful results in fact uh, pune mirror had done a cover story on me and the veterinary doctor that we worked together uh, to distribute these remedies so these remedies really work very well on plants and animals so what is new i have been using now now you can make combinations but i have been now using these remedies as uh, a single remedy prescription i'm trying to uh, narrow down to just one remedy which can be based on the central conflict uh you you under you if there are patients where you uh, you can judge you can feel one very prominent problem of that person problem or one quality that may can make that person problematic or unproductive in their life and you prescribe just one remedy on that i'm trying to work on these uh, lines now uh, it's in pipeline so maybe uh, in next two week new two years we can have a presentation on how to use proper remedies uh, just as a single remedy so i'll give you one example very very known example you all, we all know this person and this is the screenshot of his today's blog this is august 6 and 7 2021 today uh, which is sunday 8th of august is his 4909th day on the blog he writes this blog he's been writing this blog every day for last 4909 days just let me know any of you who has done something every day for one year i will lose anything and this person has been doing writing a blog in a super fluent english amazing english for 4909 days every every day there is a system where he write wrote that blog it was in jalsa la, last night he wrote it in jalsa it was night because it's 6th and 7th because he wrote it around. so you can you can understand from this this picture that this is a systematic person super systematic person whether it was pratiksha it was jalsa it was usa canada he will write everything in his title of the blog it was written in jalsa mumbai august 6 oblique 7 in the sense midnight friday saturday 11 11 19 am ko likhna shuru kar diya and his day 4909 the other picture that you see is something that he will be doing today evening at 5:30 every sunday 5:30 he comes and he greets his fans who are waiting for him for 5 10 minutes he's been doing that from mid 70s when he faced that puli ka accident and he returned home he wanted to uh, express his gratitude towards his fans and for last more than 30 years now every sunday he does that we don't eat pizza on every sunday we don't do anything we don't even party on every sunday and he does that every sunday he writes a blog every day without fail and just not like ki kuch bhi karna hai lekin aaj ka aaj ka nahi he writes amazing blogs every day this is typical rock water this is a typical rock water now he is in still in positive quality of rock water i hope so uh, so he is in a rock water state where these people are super disciplined for themselves they will just follow something when you can see a person and you can you can tell the time कि जब ये आदमी यहां से गया तो इट्स इट द रॉक वाटर पीपल दे विल डू एवरीथिंग वेरी सुपर सिस्टमैटिक एंड इन अ वेरी अमेजिंग वे एंड दैट डिसिप्लिन सुपर सिस्टम एंड दैट मेक्स देम द द सुपर स्टार ऑफ द मिलेनियम दैट मेक्स देम सो सक्सेसफुल बट ऑब्वियसली व्हेन इट एक्सीड्स द लेवल ऑफ नॉर्मल सी इट कैन बी प्रॉब्लमेटिक फॉर हिम आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो i hope so i hope not he is he is, he is not facing any unproductivity but it can cross that that thin line of that and if it if he gets any complaint for if he comes with any complaint in future i hope he comes to me uh, some day or other other 
I will give him rock water. I'm sure his asthma, we know his complaints, his asthma, his myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis, again, is the rigidity. Rock water are the rigid people. So think about all the complaints that he has. He's a rock water personality for me. So I really want to give him rock water for so many years. I have written to him on Twitter. I have sent him email. He doesn't reply. What time I got? Never, never. So my time I got, and I will give him rock water. I think rock. He is is a he is a drug picture of rock water. And if you give rock water to him, he will be uh, much better. Uh, he will he will have much better productivity than what he has right now. Even today, he has triple the productivity than all of us we have. But still, he will be much more productive and much more comfortable doing what he is doing right now. Then the most uh, last five minutes. So just uh, the most common remedy is the rescue remedy. uh that we most of us might have been used it is a combination of uh, the five remedies rock rose star of bethlehem impatience cherry plum clematis and that's uh, the rescue remedy is usually for emergency that's the most commonly used remedy that's the most leniently used remedy and the, that the most miss that the most mistakenly or uh, wrongly used remedy as well people use rescue remedy when they can't think of anything people use rescue remedy when they think about anything for that matter so kuch nahi hota hai to rescue remedy de do ye bhi hota hai mere sath bhi hua hai sabke sath hota hai but rescue remedy will work only when there is a uh, there is a uh, there is a feeling in the patient not with you you should not be feeling panicky about giving prescription and give rescue remedy then you can take rescue remedy for yourself but when you have when you have a patient who is talking about a super panicky situation where he is actually asking you shrieking for help that's the that's the keyword shrieking for help there he is begging you for help he is begging you to take him out of you want to escape from that situation want him quickly to get out of that situation that's the that's the feeling state of rescue remedy if you give rescue remedy in that moment then it will work really fine otherwise people give rescue remedy for any small fears and it doesn't work or they feel that it's working but it doesn't work because you are not using it properly then the main typical questions i i'm i'm just uh, discussing certain things so that we we won't get those questions later on dosage you can you the the more doses that you give it it works better so four times a day five times a day six times a day uh, it works better more do, uh, more number of doses in a divided manner you give it's better to give in mixed with water because you can sip the water uh, throughout the day and that really works wonderful whether should we use indian remedies or original original people ask me this question i have been using indian remedies for my all my years now and they really work wonders all the wonderful effects that i have discussed right now they all were with indian remedies because i couldn't afford the original ones then but i have been using indian remedies uh, for my uh, pay, for all my patients i have the original kit but i use indian remedies of uh, all uh, pharmacies and they really work you Uh, work wonder your remedy should be right and your assessment of patient and the problem the positive negative quality should be right uh, what remedy or which pharmacy or which indian or original original means indian or i won't say original indian or foreign use it doesn't matter your remedy or your uh, person diagnosis should be right how to take as i said it's better to mix that thing in water and take it sip by sip but if it's not that's not possible uh, with the indian remedies the advantage is you can use them with the homeopathic pills and that becomes easy for us how does it act it acts primarily by working on the unresolved negative emotions that we have so it it resolves the negative emotions and makes us more and more positive what more uh, you can where you can learn it from from more uh, i have been uh, mentored by uh, dr cornelia richardson bordler uh kramer is uh, one of the big names now in bash for remedies you can read uh, his body maps and uh, his theory uh, his, he has a different way of uh, working with bash for remedies i'm i'm still work i'm still reading that i i, I don't use them in that manner krishnamurthy is uh, one of the indian people uh, very well known he has books uh, he has also worked with some indian flowers i haven't used them but i use the primary bash all the 38 flower bash flowers batch center website has uh, many books that they have uploaded in pdf form that you can use uh, they really uh, have that that website is a very good source of getting the basics and the basic source books and all those things and obviously when it's my session i will obviously 
so promote or will ask you to join me on my youtube channel uh, just uh, search for uh, dr amit karkare on youtube and you will find my channel i share uh, my uh, all the things that i know freely on that youtube channel so there is no commercials involved in that uh, i used to take uh, workshops uh, so because of covid that stopped but now i will be starting with uh, i will be converting my course into uh, the youtube uh, video course so soon i will be starting with a course in english in hindi and english uh, so that will be the new thing which will come up more mostly in september maybe uh, so i will be starting that soon i, I won't uh, say september but soon and you you can just follow those uh, sessions one by one and you will uh, you will learn bashwar remedy uh, entirely whatever i know i will be sharing on my youtube channel so do subscribe to my youtube channel and again thank you very much ipl for asking me and uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, share my uh, understanding about bashwar remedies uh, that i have received till now uh with all of you and now i think uh, we are open with for the questions that if you if we have anything yes samit thank you so much for a wonderful session and we have few questions though you have tried to answer uh, most of them but few participants one of them has asked whether you can use these remedies in pregnancy yes yes uh you can safely use these remedies in any state pregnancy i have been i have two daughters and uh, i had kept my wife on bachelor remedies throughout uh, the, the the pregnancy period in fact i had given her olive and rescue remedy during the first pregnancy because she was in that emergency panic state when uh, she actually went to the delivery room i was there with her olive because olive is the remedy for excessive exhaustion so obviously the ladies typically after the normal delivery they are super exhausted uh, with that the entire delivery process so she was kept on uh, rescue remedy and olive uh, throughout uh, the process of delivery and all this so you can very well give in fact better because uh, we all know as homeopaths that uh, the the mental state during the pregnancy can affect the the constitution and the if the emotions of the child so if you keep uh the the mother away from the unresolved negative emotions during the pregnancy that actually can be the best that you can do for the child as well okay so one more question is that uh, you spoke about how you dispense these remedies generally i know that you give it in water and things like that but uh, how much of water how do you dispense how frequently that is uh, one question that has come up yeah uh the best part of these remedies is you can even mix them with uh, the food because uh, like, unlike homeopathy there is no uh, food restrictions of any kind so i we i have been using these remedies mixed with uh, fruit juices or water how much water you take is not uh, important if you mix if you make a combination of five six whatever the needed medicines uh, you can you can just add 10 to 15 drops in a liter of bottle or a half liter bottle only only condition is they should finish that water in one day they should not finish that water in just one go they should take it sip by sip so instead of giving two drops five times a day it's better to add those 10 drops in one liter bottle and take it throughout the day so that you take one drop maybe 20 times a day so that's my uh, logic so i usually ask uh, the patients to add 10 to 15 drops in a liter of bottle keep that bottle aside kids try go on sipping the remedy from uh, for the the water from that bottle apart from that bottle uh, they can drink any amount of water normal water but they know that okay i drink 3 liters of bottle then what they can do is they can add five drops in all these three bottles and they can finish that those three bottles in a day so how much water is not essential uh, again how many drops how much of water how many pills how many times is not much essential the your selection of remedies if if you give a remedy and if it, it doesn't work in one month or 15 days you don't see any registration then you need to change something either you are just missing something the, so that's the that's the fun part mainly but as i said dosage is is not a major problem okay so one more question here is that uh, what is your experience Uh, have you used it in raised creatinine levels so kidney disease or something like that have you used it and what is your experience with that uh, i haven't used them uh, as i said physical elements uh, i haven't used them 
with such kind of physical elements till now but again if somebody wants to use them for uh, renal failures or this thing primarily uh, the selection of the remedy will be based on uh, what is the perspective of that patient towards looking at the disease that he or she is having so if i have a renal failure uh, am i feeling sad am i feeling anxious am i feeling fearful about uh, the am i again what what am i fearful about like for example i will give you examples of five remedies now uh, if i am feeling anxious about uh, the the dialysis and all those things then it's mimulus because it's a, I, i'm just uh, giving primary examples so mimulus will be for the fear of dialysis fear of uh, the extending cost now if i'm thinking about the cost and uh, the, the kharcha that's going to happen and how it's going to affect my kids because it's their education and i'm i'm just sapping sapping their their the money that i kept for them and i am using that money for my elements and then i will be so i'm i'm worried about the children now i'm not worried about my element so that will be red chestnut now the people who as i said below are the people who feel it's the injustice mere sath hi kyun hua ye sab if if that is the primary feeling uh, with the kidney failure then that's below ki mere sath hi kyun hua maine itna sab acha kiya tha fir bhi mere sath hua this is anyay on me so that that that's below then you are you are becoming sad because of that like uh, your creatinine level is but you don't need any dialysis your creatinine level is slightly raised they feel ki abhi ab theek se hum karenge to theek ho jayega it will be still in control but still you are so sad that almost your both of kidneys have been removed people become so sad ek ek kilo problem hai aur 10 kilo sadness hota hai to i can give gods i can give gentian uh, gentian is Uh, जब आपको वो न्यूज uh, पता चलती है एंड देन सडनली इट्स अ डिसअपॉइंटमेंट इट्स अ सेटबैक दैट्स द जेंशन सो वी कैन यूज फ्लावर रेमेडीज इन इन दिस मैनर सो व्हाट इज द प्रोडोमिनेंट फीलिंग स्टेट ऑफ दैट पर्सन अबाउट द डिसीज अबाउट दैट स्टेट दैट कैन बी पॉसिबली द की बट आई हैवंट यूज्ड माय सेल्फ टिल नाउ ओनली फ्लावर रेमेडीज आई आई विल गिव सम होम्योपैथिक अलोंग विद दैट hello yes another question is how many days would you give the remedy generally uh oh, depends no. uh if it is an acute condition uh then it has to act uh, i will usually ask the patient to uh, report to me after one week but if i'm if i'm dealing with some chronic thing or some uh, uh some behavioral or temperamental issues like for example i am fearful about uh something and i want to i'm i want to work on that and that's my constitutional feature then i would ask them to report to me after one month and then i will review okay yeah so uh, one or two questions which i will just read to you but i know that uh, it would be better that you know these participants uh, attend your course because uh, they are now asking about the keywords or you know your combinations and all that so i would strongly say that the best way to learn is to enroll for the course and then eventually you will you know uh, be able to learn in depth about how you are using these remedies so uh, these are one or two questions that have come and i'm just looking at maybe a last question uh, uh, i think um, yeah so again for skin complaints how does it work then how to use it in plants uh, please give an example okay let's take this question have you had any experience with plants yeah i have been using it with plants you can either uh, mix it in a spray bottle and you can spray it on the leaves or you can actually uh, add the drops in the water when you are watering the plant uh, typically i use olive primarily during the summers because summer saps the energy of plants so uh, in summer heat usually i add olive uh, to when i'm watering the plants uh walnut can be used when you change the pot so when you shift the plant from a smaller plot to a bigger pot usually that shifting needs uh walnut to add uh, so that they uh, it facilitates a, a easy or a comfortable shift from one pot to the other pot uh, so these are the primary uses i have used crab apple it was told that if you use crab apple that can be used as a pesticide but that doesn't work i have used it but it didn't it didn't work uh with me i i used it in many all manners but it didn't work so i won't say uh, uh i don't know uh, at least i don't have any good experience of crab apple 
but i have used walnut olive uh, with with plants uh, i have always used uh, uh, plants jahan pe uh, if you if if a plant if you shift the plant from from one place to other place and if that go plant agar murcha jata hai so i have given gentian it, it i have only used once and it really helped well uh, gentian is for disappointment it sudden shift uh, from it's a it's a setback uh, so i have used that so again it's the imagination is the key primarily you need, uh, people who are very plant lovers they can actually feel uh, the emotions of the plant and then you can uh, use the remedies for that people who were asking about the keywords i actually i have already uh, uh, i have already uploaded more than 20 videos on my youtube channel uh, the remedies as well as few primary questions that we asked about how to select uh, five remedies if you can think about 10 remedies or uh, remedies for stock brokers remedies before the concert remedies uh, during the pandemic uh, so you can go and watch those videos i i do upload uh, regular videos on that i hope so and uh, you can use you can you can view those videos and you will understand the keywords i obviously teach through keywords so just log like, subscribe to the youtube channel and you will uh, you will you can learn yeah okay so uh, thank you very much uh, amit for this wonderful session and thank you all the participants for joining us on uh, a sunday morning and uh, i would just say uh, finally that we really thank for uh, thank you amit for all that you have shared and we look forward to many more interactions like this and to all the other participants i would say that look forward for these kind of uh, events because we are planning Uh, much more about uh, biochemic remedies about pcod about pregnancy and the use of homeopathy during childbirth etc so look forward stay tuned to our group and we will surely put up the information uh, shortly so uh, thank you amit very much once again and thank you all the participants thanks a lot see you thanks. next time thanks thanks amit thanks uh,